All right, this is the eCampus um, Navigating Basics. So if you log into your eCampus, you're going to um, have access to this particular course. This, this is DRW 0315-82420. And so the way I designed the course uh, is uh, corresponds to the actual academic calendar in your syllabus. But I'm gonna go over a few things for a minute before we get there. So your learning materials here, um, you have access to your learning materials. If you click included ebook, and you usually should be able to have access to the fundamentals, uh, fundamentals of college writing, okay? And then for that ebook, for that ebook, uh, you can, you should be able to get a physical copy so I have this information here uh, to receive the physical copy of the textbook. You should have received an email from the following email address, customer service at eFollet. So you may want to check your spam junk clutter. You also want to check your different email. So you may have your uh, you may have different emails on file. And I think we are moving towards students only using the dallascollege.edu email or uh dccd.edu if you're still on that um, uh, extension. So you should have received that email. Take the email to the bookstore with your campus ID. Go to the section of online student pickup. So do not go to the front desk. The problem with that is that many of the uh, student representatives will tell you that your uh, instructor must adopt the textbook. Well, if the textbook is included in this eCampus course, then it means it has already been adopted. And so now you just have to make sure that you take the email that you received with your campus ID and then go to the section where you pick up, say, online student pickup orders or something like that. Show the ID, sign a form, pick up the book, right? And you usually receive these emails uh, sometime before the semester starts, right? I usually will not have anything to do beyond uh, that uh, beyond course adoption. So you would need to contact the bookstore for that information. So then uh, start here is where uh, I am adding, there is a welcome here and I'm doing the navigation that you are watching right now, but there's a syllabus overview as well as the course calendar. So you will see that I have attached the course calendar in different areas just for your convenience. But here's a quick syllabus overview that you could listen to. My instructor information here is just me introducing my background quickly, uh, as well as my research interests. I like to use a lot of psychology in, in English, especially to help you with uh, fixed mindset, growth mindset, intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation, different types of goal orientation, feedback, and assessment. And then I've also added my uh, statement of teaching philosophy here that you could uh, you could read. So the course syllabus, uh, you can access it in uh, two different types of files. Here is this video again, just a quick video, but this is the course syllabus for this course. And then again, now that we're on this area, uh, in this area of the navigation, you're going to see read, watch, assignments, quizzes, and then discussion board in the calendar itself so that it helps to correspond um, uh, between the calendar and the eCampus uh, course. So if you click read, you're going to see all of the reading activities. These are all of the reading activities that are housed also in the syllabus academic calendar. So I just decided to put all of them here. Okay. Then watch is where I will be. I will begin adding lecture videos on particular grammar topics. So you already have three available, which is lecture on homophones, lecture on nouns, lecture of it. Uh, videos. These do not substitute, however, for actually reading the course text. The course text is Fundamentals of College Writing, so definitely be sure to do that, okay? And then assignments um, are, are, they begin week three, and assignments are worth uh, 15 total points. There are 18 total number of assignments, and the points possible is 270. Okay, and they begin week three and will be added throughout the course. Now, they've already been added to this course. You just don't have access to them right now. But when you take a quiz, you are required to download the document 
open the document, complete the document, and then uh, click this link here. I mean, save the document and then click this link here to upload. So anything that's marked assignment number one, quiz number one, you know, discussion board number one, et cetera, these are your assignment links. You just click it and it'll give you what the actual uh, due date is, points possible. This is the actual uh, assignment here. And then you complete the assignment. You have about two attempts for these quizzes. So do be sure that you pay attention to that. Uh, so these are all of the assignments. You will have access to them uh, each week, not before the time. And the course calendar, again, is here for your uh, convenience. So then quizzes um, are worth 20 points each. There are a total of 270 with a uh, 540 points possible. And uh, they run uh, from Monday through Friday. The whole course runs Monday through Friday. Uh, so that means you're really going to have to manage your time. And so the quiz number one, each quiz assignment and discussion board is uh, corresponds to the academic calendar. And I, I specifically add week one, week two, week three for convenience, right? And again, here's that course calendar. And so uh, just with the assignments, you are, you're downloading the document here. Um, completing the document, and then once you complete it, save it, click quick quiz number one, it'll, it'll give you the points possible and everything that you need to know, and then um, submit after that, and you usually have two attempts, okay? So these are your quizzes. And then the discussion board corresponds also to the calendar, and um, the topics are kind of interesting because they're not really full topics just yet. I may add more later, but it's more along the lines of reflection, um, questions, concerns, anything like that with a particular assignment, quiz, anything. And um, you will submit two drafts from the English 1301 course that I am teaching as well under the 82420 section number. Um so that's throughout the calendar. And then your discussion board activities are worth 10 points. There are a total number of 15 uh, points possible, 150. And, and again, uh, watch, assign, I mean, uh, assignments, quizzes, and discussion board run um, from Monday through Friday. So again, you have to determine uh, by the end of the week when you will submit something uh, on time. So these are your discussion board activities. The first week is available. The other weeks will become available uh, when we get to those weeks. But as you note here, for example, some discussion boards, most of them are about questions and concerns. So create questions, address concerns using the discussion board, respond to at least one's, one peer's initial post, right? And it's worth 10 points. But then you'll have two areas where you are uploading a particular draft uh, to get feedback from your fellow peers, okay? And then the grammar final is not complete, but it is worth uh, 25 points. So it'll give me an opportunity to think about uh, how I want to create the final. So it's not uploaded here, of course. And then uh, your assignment number 17, grammar final exam review part one, and assignment number 18, grammar final re exam review part two, may give you some insight into how I will structure the grammar final, okay? So that grammar final is worth 25 points. And then the course reflection is just you kind of reflecting on your learning process throughout the course is worth 15 points. It's um, a guided document. I have not added the information just yet. So uh, please definitely do not uh, provide any information. And then, of course, you can click my grade. So this is the eCampus navigation for the course. Uh, take some time to really read the syllabus, look at the course. Uh, and think about the strategy you're going to adopt as you navigate and pursue completion of this course.